Hello, my name is Bob Scott, and welcome to our snapshot on time management in Acumatica. Our agenda is going to be why use time tracking in Acumatica. We're going to talk about the time tracking workflow in Acumatica, and we'll talk about how time activities can become time cards. And we're going to talk about how time integrates with other vital areas of Acumatica, including service management, project accounting, payroll, and CRM activity. Why time tracking? Time tracking is useful for recording staff time and billing for payroll purposes. With time tracking in Acumatica, you can report time for billing activities, for cases, for service management, and you can enter and record time for projects. The cool thing is, is that time can also flow from those billing scenarios into payroll once recorded. So there's a full integration between billing time and payroll. So this makes Acumatica the all-inclusive way to track cost and bill employee time entries. The Acumatica time workflow starts with time entries being entered in various places. So this could include time for projects. It could include activity time for CRM cases. It could include service management time as well. Also, time can be entered directly onto time activities and time cards in Acumatica. Project time, activity time, and service management time flow into time activities. Time activities flow into time cards. There could be an approval process on time cards. Time cards will flow into the payroll system and allow for employees to be paid based on time. Time activities are a collection of employee time entries from various sources. These include CRM tasks, service management appointments, manually entered time. And in addition, time can be entered from the mobile app in Acumatica. Time entries get turned into time cards. I'm currently on an appointment screen in Acumatica service management. In service management, time can be logged for employees. Now this could be done from a handheld device using the Acumatica mobile app, or it can be entered here in Acumatica on the log. Once completed, the time from the appointment will flow seamlessly to time activities in Acumatica. In addition, if I chose a case in Acumatica, I can create a work item or a task. That allows me to record time that's either billable or non-billable. Total amount of time spent, three hours. Total billable time would be two hours. Note that this could be time against a project. Once complete, the time will flow seamlessly to time activities. In Acumatica, time that is entered on CRM cases and time that is entered in the service management module is accumulated in employee time activities. Time activities can be found on the time and expense work area. Time from various sources in Acumatica gets compiled and accumulated here. Time can also be entered in manually. Once all the time has been approved or confirmed by the employee, it is saved. Time expenses become employee time cards. An employee time card is a 
illustration of all the time that has been entered for a particular payroll period. So in this case, payroll period 14 for week 13 in Acumatica's financial year is recording this amount of time for user Bob Scott. If you wanted to look at another employee, We can see that time from various sources in Acumatica has come in. Now, this time can be related to projects or not. If it's related to a project, it can be related to various tasks in projects. You can see that Acumatica can also record and summarize the time from service management. Time cards in Acumatica are a collection of time activities for a given payroll period. Time cards can be manually entered, but they can also accept the time activities that might have been entered for CRM activities they, or for project activities or for service management activities. Time cards can be auto-filled from time activities, meaning that they can be normalized. A time card can follow rules, and those rules can be established for overtime and employee minimums. Company holidays can be preloaded. An employee time card in Acumatica shows an accumulation of all the time activities that have happened for a given pay period in Acumatica. You can see for user Todd Bloom, we've got time entered, but some of it is for projects and some of it is not for projects. Other time notes that the time is for service management. Normalizing a time card will review employee settings for minimum pay requirements. Preloading holidays would preload holiday hours that an employee would normally get paid for. Normalizing a time card will pre-fill and make sure that this employee gets 40 hours of employee time. Submitting kicks off the approval process. We can see on the approval process that Michael Andrews, the executive director, will be approving this. Since I'm a member of the executive group, I can also approve this. So I'm just going to go ahead and approve it. Acumatica's time management system integrates seamlessly with vital areas of management. Time entries can be integrated with project accounting to update billing records and cost records in project accounting. CRM tasks and service management tasks can update accounts receivable for billing to service customers. All time can flow seamlessly into payroll. In the Acumatica payroll system, time can be pulled in from time cards automatically. If I select the payroll workspace and payroll batches, time that has been entered onto time cards can be pulled in, processed. If I select the weekly pay group for employees that belong to that pay group, and then I select the appropriate payroll period. Clicking the add employees give me a listing of all the employees that belong to the pay group weekly. Since we've been entering time for Todd Bloom, I'm going to focus on him. Selecting time activities will pull in the time from the time cards and populate the payroll batch. You can see that we have 40 hours of total time for Todd. If we look at his earnings, we can see that 40 hours for various time entries have come into the payroll system and are ready to be processed. Thank you for watching our snapshot. If you like the snapshot, like, share, and subscribe. Contact us at erp at for further information.